so it's <coughs> five past nine. We've just arrived, well, about like half an hour ago. And this is Baden Hall. They use this as a club, the reception is there. We're not allowed on that peg till half ten because someone's on them, so we've come a bit too early, really. I'm sorry I got a pot bleeding four o'clock in the morning now. We've got an hour and a half, so I. There's a lot of wasps looking about on going to my car. So, we've got a fair wait. I'll uh, continue this when uh, there he is. Step two! Yeah, we've got a fair wait, so I'll uh, carry on filming when it's when we're on the pegs. You fishing for salmon, sir? All the gear and no idea. Uh, <laughs> what was like? What was like? I don't know. Anything over ten is a tenner. No, anything up to thirty is a tenner. Anything over thirty is twenty quid. Yeah. So if I catch a little roach. Well, you want me catching rope? Yeah. It needs to be. Uh, why is this so zoomed in? It needs to be. What's it? A carp, and it needs to be over five pound, really. Yeah, over five I'm messing about with a little roach. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be over five. No use coming round with two pound or three or four. Oh, I don't think there'll be any in there anyway. So here we are at Baden Hall. There's some friends of mine. Mrs. Goose. And this is going to be my home for the next week. And coming in here, it's actually really warm. I mean, it's warmish outside, but I see how it's warm in here. Right, we we'll have uh, a few spider friends. But they don't know, yeah. Here we are. So it's time to get set up and get fishing. <laughs> Bloody trains. Right, you can see I'm set up now. <sighs> Took me about 40 minutes my bed there and it. I've actually just took my chair in because it was raining. My rods are set up. From the album Tango in the Night, Fleetwood Mac and Little. I've got a tripod ready for if we catch the bait and all do their own unlucky man sling net Ross. Right, let's go and see my dad's cell cars are parked right near it these are the uh, shown you before when it was empty the sheds you stay in really warm the trains off the trains are they going to be going all night? Cars can be parked right outside your thing. There's a, a toilet there. I think it's like the one in the uh, train spot. But there's some posh toilets at the actual pub thing where I started off at. You've not got your rod so, yeah? Hey. Oh, yeah, look. Well, it's just a fishing shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, them are great. What is it? It's the candle thing, it like, gives you a bit oh, of light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my dad's set up. It's a dung beetle. I th you know what, I thought that was a, a, a wasp again then, it's your bait, isn't it? 
put that stuff there on top of the ordinary one for you. I can see that. Eh? Oh, focus, it's a, a fly zig rig. The sun's in my face, so I'm presuming that's focused in on it. Hey, you looking in a shop? <laughs> Comfort. It's, it's alright, isn't it? Yeah. It's warm, isn't it? In here when the sun's on it. Don't know what it'll be like at night, like, but. The toilets are alright, actually. Yeah. I was expecting. Yeah, um, fishermen. fishermen to be throwing. Turds <laughs> over the wall and everything, but it's just. Well, there is some fuckers do that. Well, I know, yeah. Hey, you stop, stop swearing on my videos now. Eh? Stop swearing on my videos. Well, you can't swear now, can you? Well, no, no, no bang language on my videos. Well, put it on again, well. Put it on in here, I think. Right, uh, Stephen and Mark. This is what you get. Breakfast as well. And if you look to the left, that's where the next cabin is. Right. In other words, limit about 30 foot away of that. Right, so, so I'm, I've got my rods in now. Is that you buzz buzzing? Yeah. I've got my rods in now, so let's see what we do. And I'm, uh, I've bought some new video editing stuff now, so I can splice my videos together and make like hour, half hour, hour episodes so I can buy even more now but yeah it's comf comfy enough got a thumbs up up to now, let's just see what it fishes like but this cabin's all the way around quite a big water oh the trains man again I did watch a video of some guy, I can't remember his name now, but he was uh, going on about these trains and the dead virgin speedy ones, so I might be kept away with that. Some bagel? Trains! At the minute, I've got a zig rig on, and I've got one of the maggot rigs with some foam on it. So it's three o'clock. Been fishing about three hours. I've actually had a, a knock. The alarm went off with the um, zig rig, and my dad has as well. Who lives in a house like this? Who lives in a house like this? In number 15, he is a tranny queen. He's a local vicar and a serial killer. Who lives in a house like this? Who lives in a house like this? Who lives in a house like what? Yeah, a bit windy. So it's getting a bit windy. Here's a bit of a tip for you. When you're using when you're making a brew on your gas stove, tap yourself a, bring yourself a flask. And then in the excess water, every time you boil a cow. I'm trying to get on my nerves. Anyway. So you bring a flask and then you don't have to boil the kettle again if you, if you like me and you have about 20 brews a day. And it saves you gas. It saves you arsing about as well.
trains, planes, and automobiles. Comes another one. Right, I think it's another time for tea. Ribibed, ribibed steak. With some uh, steak. Uh, something called I can't even think straight. It's been a long day actually. Steak seasoning. Yeah, I think it's tea time. How did you? So here's my tea. It's a ribeye steak with with the red wine with the cork in the bottle. Yeah, I need to put some ground bait on top of it. I definitely need bit of ground bait. There's nothing like a bit of salt. You look at his hands. Why don't you wash your hands? I've just washed my hands. Looks like you've been scratching your ass with them. You stop swearing on me video. Not, that's not swearing. Right, well I'm having ribeye steak. With no bed in my cabin. It's nothing like a bit of ribeye. You're only hanging about because you want a piece. You can I don't want a piece. Bog Look at them, them grubby hands. Look at them. <laughs> So ribeye steak with uh, oh, what season it is? It's not uh, Joe Robinette. Without you shut up! I'm trying to do a video here. You waffling on in the background. You know, go without spuds. Yeah, well, I forgot the spuds. Have you seen them what's it? They get all the little, little square, they're like um, roast potatoes. The little, and see the bloody belt in there. Right, so I'll get back to you when it's uh, almost done, but yeah, I definitely need to get a corkscrew, a proper one. I've got all the little crappy ones of this. Yippee! So the water's out of it. Right, I'm going now to get this Egypt out of my cabin. Egypt? Right, now he's buggered off. Yeah, I'm right on. Yeah, I'm on a dual roll. Dual roll dock. Animus. It's Portuguese wine. That's from Aldis, 499. I've got the steaks from Aldi. It's a ribeye. And it comes with this bit of plastic, so I don't even have to dirt the plate, I'll just eat it on there. And the uh, steak spice on the top. Is steak seasoning. I'm not sure what's in it. It says, uh, oh, I <laughs> what this was from our little It's black pepper. Salt, dried onion, coriander seeds, yellow mustard seeds, chili pepper powder, dried garlic, anti caking agent, whatever that is. That's what, what my dad could do with rubbed on his face. Sunflower oil, cumin powder, oregano powder, paprika, 
Make some garlic powder. You could probably make it yourself, but oh, it's fine, I'm P. And I like my steaks done. Mmm, rare to medium. I like a bit of blood coin off it. Trains coming past again there. Just as I'm doing another video. So we yeah, am gutted about that cork and that wine. Definitely gonna have to buy a proper corkscrew for camping. Because I'm using the little crappy thing. When they're a waste of time. I've actually used and you know, I've got one in here which That thing was knackered anyway. So yeah, invest. Invest wisely. Invest wisely indeed. So I'll get back to you when the steak's done. Might have a muffin with it and all. Yeah, so a bit overdone, but as we revive, a muffin and some cut wine. Bon appetit! Alright, it's now 10 past 8. I'm just try, gonna try and get this sunset on. None of us have caught anything. We've had a few line bikes and stuff, but this sunset's amazing. We are actually watching the match, United versus, well, Wolves versus United. But, Sunset stops play. But I'll tell you what, I wish Richard Branson would piss off. Yeah, it's, uh, I should have got my camera out earlier actually. It was that looks like a scene from Canada. Anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit. I'm watch, going watching the match now, so by the time I next talk to you, it'll be dark. So it's. 20 past 9 in the morning, I've been up about a couple of hours. I'm just making a sausage butt, you know. Didn't have any bleeps during the night. Got a couple of, uh, got a zig rig on with yellow foam and a pop up boiling near the tree. This side tree over here. Not sure how shallow it is over there. And the only thing about putting it there is if uh, one does get on, it'll be straight into the tree, especially if it's in the middle of the night. My dad, who's come with me, who's on peg 15, I'm on 16, he's forgot his plates and a load of food, so the dumbbells had to go shopping this morning. I did trains again. I did offer him a sausage butty, but I offered him some steak last night where he's not having it, so he's gone off this morning shopping, took his rods in obviously. These two pegs on Baden all I think they're closest together, so if you're gonna come here, this is good if you are a bit of a social. The only downfall I've seen of it so far is Chemical tile, that's all right, fair enough, fair enough, that bad. But it's a water, on the map, it says there's, uh, there's, there's water taps all the way around, but there's not. The only tap, what I've found, is right over the other side, which you've got a really, you could walk to it, but you're not gonna, if you're getting a load of water back, you have to set the car, so 
we've had to fill up with my dad's big water bottle and I've only got really a small one there which I'm already half empty now for using for brews and washing see the heater on, I'm not, it's not because it's cold, it's so drops a load of beer all over the floor so right I'll get on with my buddy but no I've not had didn't have any knocks or not, my dad said he had one knock Um I've not even brought the rods in yet, I'll sort them out after I've had something to eat because I'm starving and we'll see if we can get anything today and we'll see what my dad brings back from his shopping trip <laughs>
And on your own right, you mate. Not so hard now, are you? Hmm? Not so, such a tough guy now, are you mate? You're, you're all... Oh, you bite. <laughs> so on that mate What have you got on that mate? Mate! Yeah, so we're uh, 26 and a half hours we've been on now. Had a few knocks, but nobody's caught anything off. Uh, off the, the lake, came here, got here yesterday morning, it's now Tuesday, I've put bread on one and a zig rig on the other with some maggots on it, I've had a few knocks on my axle, but um, nobody around the lake has caught any of them, so we've got until Friday morning, just keep plodding on and doing different things. Also, uh, about 15 minutes ago, first time in ages, rod license guy asked about our uh, rod licenses. I don't know if anyone's uh, not got one. I didn't see anyone running off, but yeah, I've not seen one of them for about eight years, nine years. Today's Wednesday. And we're nearly coming up to uh, 48 hours on here, just an hour off, it's not far off 11. This morning, I got rudely awakened at half six by our own, you can see them out on the lake there. Five geese attacking, trying to attack me bait outside. I've, luckily all the lids was on, I made sure the foxes and stuff. But they was making an iron racket, they knocked one of my rods off my pod, knocked my rod over, my spare rod over outside here. And then I come out to shift and they're all this in at me. But yeah, this is uh, day three, still not caught anything. And I, as far as I know, nobody on the lake has. Not had any alarms going off. I did have line bite. Still on zig rigs. So I've got two zig rigs on there now with foam and a few maggots on Let's see if that attracts them but no luckily I don't know what time they knocked the rod off the the pod but they knocked it off the alarm so good job I didn't get a bite on that rod because the carp had got on it and it, I wouldn't have heard the alarm and it just took the line right off the reel or eventually dragged the rod in well, thanks for that deuce, or geese. <laughs> My dad's not well. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. He's nearly 73 you now. I think this camping business is uh, coming to an end for him. <laughs> cool.
come here complaining this morning. His his neck was aching and something else was up with him. He's just going on about going home, so he's asleep now. I've just been over. He's dead to the world. He's not dead because I can see his sleeping bag going up and down. He's breathing. But he's been eating shit. I've brought steaks and sausages. All he's been eating is pot noodles and hot dogs. Ain't no good for you. I told him last night with his pot noodle. You need to submerge your peas. Anyway, I don't know what I look like after three days of roughing it. But <sighs> We're on here till Friday, like I've said, so. Let's see what happens, but. This is an hard war, and it's full of weed. When it was windy as well the other day, all the weed was, the winds coming from the west. It was blowing all the weed into this thing in, all over your line. Thick weed with loads of water fleas or whatever they are, crawling all over it. I suppose the carp are eating all that kind of thing, natural baits. Thousands of them water fleas, weed fleas, whatever they are. So that's why uh, one of the reasons I've put maggots on to see if it on the zig rig with the foam a few maggots around that just to entice them a bit but well, it's not having any effect yet there is some big fish in here two 50 pounders 50 pound plus but like I said nobody's caught so I don't feel too bad I think if uh, everyone else was catching and maybe dad wasn't, I'd uh, be wondering I'm doing something wrong, but I've still got a couple of days to try and work it out. Right, I'm going on with my breakfast and seeing if I can wake zombie dad up. Right, I've just got a bit more uh, information. On my dad's Mr. Shit's illness. <laughs> He's bought 40 pouches of these Caprison, which are pure orange. And he's at, he's drank 37 of us. <laughs> he was looking for his shit. <laughs> he said he was up all night, but was. What's the toilet? <sighs> so yeah, if you're going camping, here's a tip. Don't drink 37 pouches of uh, pure orange, because <laughs> it'll go right free. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of these Capri Sun then? Oh, they're lovely, they go straight through you. <laughs> so he, in the space of a day and a half... Just a minute. So in the space of a day and a half, how many did you drink? Thirty-seven. <laughs> <Whammed>. <laughs> I exploded, <laughs> literally. And I've got a foot bike clip. So did you think it, drinking for thirty-seven of them in one go would fucking do you some good? Well, there's another one here, mate. Make it thirty-eight. <laughs> and the, if you notice, the toilet's over there. <coughs> you're right. Yeah, I'm, I won't be going. I won't be going over. I won't be going in there for a while. Don't worry about that. Thirty-seven. I think we'll have to phone them to empty it. Phone and complain about it. You might get. You might get two boxes for free. <laughs> I know for the fucking coughing. Hello, Mother Goose. What you doing? Get away from my door, you beast. On your way. So it's 
day four today. Still not caught anything, but apparently someone caught over the other side last night. But we've got a casualty of fishing here. My dad's going home. <laughs> He's done, done his shoulder in. Let's go and meet the man in person. He was an absolute nuisance. Right. <laughs> I can't even lift my tail. Well, are you going to drive home? I can hold this for the hand and change it. It's alright. Well, I wouldn't start going mad. Which one caught last night, did you say? I think it was him over there, Phil. Huh. On the right. Yeah. He's always like someone who's flashing about. Huh. Was... Do you not see the fish, no? So I yeah, my dad's off home a day early and he wants me to unpack all his stuff. Hmm. He's getting too out now, 72. Who man cometh? He's sucking all the parts out of the toilet. It's a job and a half, isn't it? Would you like that job? The poo man cometh. The poo man cometh on it. The poo man cometh. Thursday morning. He sucked and sucked. <laughs> Get your fucking stuff packed up. You have to put the rods away from me. Size of this beast on my wheels. You'll be popping the tire, mate. So this is now Thursday. It's 12 o'clock dinner time. As you saw before, my dad's gone home now. He's for me. He's got back all right. Ripped some muscle in his shoulder, apparently. He's went down to that one. But the weather's turned now. It's really windy. Raining. None, my dad didn't catch and I'm still not catching and we're on. This is uh, the fourth day. I'm going tomorrow morning so I've just really got tonight, this afternoon. Can't see me catching. There was one caught during the night, my dad thinks. We're not 100% sure but said he heard alarms going off and lights going on over the other side near the train train line I might have a walk around and ask about and see if something did come out but the people in front of me have not caught anything and the people at the side of me haven't but the weather's uh, turned a bit I might have to shut this door in a bit because the wind's coming from the west and it's raining into the cabin now so Disappointing, really. I've tried absolutely everything maggots, I've even tried artificial flies, zig rigs on the bottom pops up. I mean, the only thing I've not tried is surface fishing, but it's pointless because of the wind. There's loads of green slime floating about. Sad hard water for sure. So, I'm not holding out much hope, but you never know. I've got all this afternoon tonight. Don't have to leave until 12 tomorrow, but I'll probably start packing up in the morning and head off because I've got things to do tomorrow. So, I'm just sorry we couldn't get a cap on, on video.
so it's the final day, it's Friday today. Well, it's six minutes past seven. Still not caught anything. <laughs> I'm gonna start slowly packing up. We'll have some breakfast first, then get all this stuff packed away. I'm, uh, it's 12 o'clock, I've got to be off for, but probably because nothing's been happening, I'll probably go a bit earlier today. Didn't even have a bleak last night. And both rods I've decided to go on the deck with them rather than having pop ups because pop ups wasn't doing much. Getting a few bleeps now and again, but there's a dead pike over there as well, it's quite a big one. Don't ever mention it, you can just see it white floating, bloated on the top. So, bait and all, and I blanked. I'm not sure if anybody's caught. Um, I'd come again, I like the cabins. Possibly could be more toilets and more water outlets. And if they had showers, it would be a good idea because I've been here since Monday and it's now Friday. I've been having a, a wash with cold water, but I can't wait to get home and get in the bath. So, bad and all, what do I think about it? Out of ten? Seven? I know I've not caught, but it's a nice place. Apart from the trains. Um, they've got otter fences all the way around. Apparently there's been an otter spotted. But. So, I've got... I've got five hours, but like I said, I'll probably go off earlier. Maybe try a couple of pop-ups after my breakfast. See what I can do, and then just start packing everything away. We'll just leave the rods out. I've thrown the kitchen sink at it. I've done everything: artificial flies, meat, pop-up boilers, pellets, bread, maggot. I'm not a sniff. Right, it's 25 to 9. I've packed most of the car, there's just a few bits left. Uh, nothing caught. Been here since Monday, so. A lot of people packed up over the other side. Um, hope you enjoyed the videos. It's a pit I couldn't show you a carp. Only thing I've seen is a dead pike. <laughs> Okay then, that's it. Goodbye, bait and all. I will come back. I don't think it'll be this year. Possibly early next year. Right. How about I hit the motorway?